we're on a very serious tipping point that if we don't change something, humanity is going to suffer severe consequences. 30 years ago, we started using glyphosate. And it essentially became a one chemical agriculture. We know that we increased virulence of the pathogens. What we've done is we've just hammered certain groups of organisms so that they no longer exist in the soil. Now you are having this huge interminable lands with the ara soya, and they are just spraying everything. And uh, in this Gaia, nothing disappears. It will get into the, uh, uh, the water supply. It will uh, get into the, 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 uh, the ground. It's, it's a <coughs> hormone replacer. There is very good evidence for it. It's not just uh, from the fact that, that uh, uh, sea urchin eggs don't hatch. Declining nutrient levels in our feed and our food. A new disease that we have on dairy, cattle, pigs, chickens, and horses on infertility. Two weeks ago, I had 450 of the thousand on the wheat leads that had spontaneously aborted. Primary suicide weapon in South America and Asia is glyphosate. We don't look at it, we don't recognize what the real cause is. French Supreme Court last year in upholding two lower court decisions ruled that it was fraud for Monsanto to claim biodegradability of glyphosate. Drought tolerance requires manganese. Also requires some of the other micronutrients. All of them are immobilized by glyphosate. We did uh, have a um, a comparison of GM with non-GM potatoes. Uh, we fed uh, that as a part of a, a, a proper diet to rats and uh, we measured all sorts of things. Growth, for example, how these young animals were growing, uh, what happened to their inside and what happened to their immune system. Uh, it became clear uh, that uh, the GM had a, a slower growth. It had uh, problems with uh, internal uh, development of its organs, and it certainly uh, knocked out the immune system. The wave of all this toxicity from Roundup hasn't fully started to hit the human population yet. It's only coming. And if you think it's bad now, just give it another 10 years' time. Uh, but what the overall effect uh, of it is, it's, it's, it's impossible to say. It is a time bomb, it's ticking away. Um, uh, we are going to uh, make our children and grandchildren to inherit all this mess. We are free, moral human beings who should have a right to make a choice, and we will make that choice. I'm delighted to see that there are a lot more young people that are starting to catch the dream and the philosophy and the notion that you can produce quality food without chemicals. Each of us in our own way have a journey to walk and these young people uh, must be complemented and many of these young people are starting to make direct connections with the consumer and the consumer is starting to learn through education. If you follow our program, uh, the soils will improve, the crops will improve, and then of course we have that unique ability to help you with the nutritional aspect if you have livestock that we can actually go to work and, and provide a nutrition package that will give you uh, healthy livestock and give you more profitability on the bottom line. We know that we have the products the services and the people to do the job that can actually help make this a much more profitable venture. But as more of this truth gets out, are we going to leave something of value and of worth to future generations? They think it's everything is going fine, but everything is not going fine. The public in Europe is, is dead against it. 9,000% increase in Alzheimer's in North America since 1990. 
have a real concern about obesity. And then the, the question was, uh, so what shall I do? The truth will be out. I was absolutely sure about it. 